everybody. Okay. This is the half post method. So what you'll need, especially for a puppy, is some zip ties. They're approximately half inch wide. Um, back a rod, five eighths. Um, you will have to go up a size on both the zip ties and the back rod as your dog grows. White Zonas tape. Don't use anything else. Don't use a vet wrap. Don't use colored tape. Zonas tape. That is all you need. And Ostabond. Now, this here is Mr. Dredger. I have already cleaned out his ears. Lay down. Good boy. I've already cleaned out his ears. I just use rubbing alcohol. Just really get your finger down in there and clean it all out. And I've let them dry. So they are good to be posted back up. So I will show you how to do the half post method. So first thing you want to do. Oh, and you also need scissors. So the first thing you want to do is measure your zip ties on the ear. Now what you're going to measure from is this little nub right here in the ear. You see this little nub? That right there is where you want to measure from. So you want to measure from that nub, put the zip tie on there, all the way to the tip. And then you're going to cut the zip tie at that point. grab stronger scissors. So there's one. Your ears should be the same size. You can use the other one to measure the other side and they seem to be the same size so I'm just going to cut another one at the same length. Maybe use sharper scissors. Anyway, so then you have your two pieces. Then what I like to do is these sharp ends, I like to round them out. This one was already rounded. So then those are your zip ties that you need. So then what you're gonna need is your backer rod and you're gonna need it to be approximately an inch long is going to cut two pieces about an inch long. They don't need to be super long or anything like that. Just two small pieces. So that's the start. Now you're going to need your Zonas tape. So what you're going to do, you're going to measure a piece just slightly longer than your zip tie. Glue it to the table. You're going to do this for two pieces. center your zip ties on there they're not laying flat just kind of bend them a little bit until they seem to be flat you want them sh pretty straight then you're going to rip another two pieces of zonas tape about an inch longer than the pieces than these pieces that you ripped before and this is sticky side down on the table zip tie on top and then this piece of zonas tape sticky side down over that and you're just gonna form it around the zip tie. Now, I should say that there's a million different posting methods out there. I like to use the zip tie, unless your dog has a lot of bell, then you probably want to use the backer rod method. This method, I don't recommend using it all the time, but if your dog has a sore in the base of its ear, or if it needs to breathe or something, this is a really good method to use. If you're in the south where it's really humid and your dog keeps getting a lot of moisture in its ears, this is also a really good method to use. It will work if you want to use it the whole time. Do the same thing, line up one side, lay it down to the other side, and just form that Zonas tape right around the zip tie. Good boy, Dredger. So just like that, okay? And then you can peel that off of the table and just put them down sticky side up you're done with them for the time being. Now you're gonna use your backer rod. What you're gonna do is about halfway into your Zonas tape, this is one inch Zonas tape, you're gonna stick the backer rod. And you're gonna tape it all the way around until it gets back to where it started and then you're gonna back tape. So now you're sticky side out. 
and then you're gonna tape this whole piece of baccarat. Back tape it so that there's a little piece, about half the zona's tape sticking out on the other end again. Dredger, lay down. Good boy, stay. So, just like that. So now you back tape the whole thing. And then, you're just gonna fold in the ends. <coughs> no. Lay down. Good boy, stay. So there's one. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. About halfway onto the zona's tape, wrap all the way in a circle. No, lay down. Stop. And then you're gonna back tape the whole thing again. Mm. Lay down. Stop. So then you have another back tape piece and then the same thing, you're just gonna fold the zonus tape in on both ends so that the sticky side is up. So the whole thing is sticky. So now you have two little sticky pods. Now you're gonna take your zonus tape and then the non-sticky side, so the back, you're gonna take your piece of backer rod and not the piece with the tail but the other side you're going to line it up with the bottom of the zip tie itself and then you're going to fold that so that it all sticks to it like so okay and then you're going to do the same thing again take your other backer rod line it up with the zip tie not the zonus tape but the zip tie Fold this down, fold this, so that it looks like that. Uh -uh. So then what you will do, uh, stay. Sorry, are you doing a video or something? Trying to. Is it a live stream? No. Oh, okay. So then what you will do is you will break off your pieces of tape. So you want about a, I don't know, seven inch, eight inch piece of tape, two of them. I just stick them to the table. Then you want two four inch pieces, roughly, and two roughly three inch pieces. Then what I like to do is I like to go ahead and put glue on the zip tie. You're going to put it to the sticky side right on top of the zip tie itself. So those two are ready. this, put it right on top of that little ball in the ear, that little bump that you measured from, stretch the ear up on the zip tie and fold that piece of tape over the back. Take your longest piece of Zona's tape and stick it to the bottom. I like to overlay it slightly and go all the way around and squeeze. You want to tape it loosely and then squeeze it down. I'm going to take a middle piece of tape Put it over this part. So now you've taped all of the backer rod. And you're gonna take your shortest piece of tape and just go right above it, all the way around. And that's one. And then your other side. You'll do the same thing. You'll put the backer rod right on top of that bump, stretch the ear up on the zip tie, fold the back over. Make sure to pull up on the ear when you're taping. Loosely tape and squeeze. Loosely tape and squeeze. And then the third piece at the top.
top. And then those are taped. Now, if you need to do a bridge, which he doesn't really need anymore, but I'll do one to show. Take about, I don't know, eight inch piece, nine inch piece. I'm gonna split it down the middle like so. And then at the bottom of the tape here, you're just gonna put these pieces around, just like so. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, split it. Now the goal is you want your ears to be not quite straight up and down. You want there to be a little bit of give, like 11 and one, I guess. And then once you've taped that side, you're just gonna take your tape, fold it in the middle, like so. And then you have a bridge. It's just so the ears can't fall out too far, but that's about, that's about how far apart you want them with the bridge. And that, my friends, is the half post method. Good boy.